Oh, hold up. We ask of migrants. Okay, and we also take the alloys. Okay, so I'm going to need some more houses. That's no surprise. Lift. Wing. Oh, boy howdy. Okay, we also have the propeller. Pause for a second. We have to look at this. The nice part is I can move the wing whenever I want. Heavy tilt, four to the right. No tilt issues to the left. No! There we go. Beyond that housing blocks. I'm glad I got all that wood. And speaking of, here's some more wood. I love these wings. They're hilarious looking. Okay, let's... Let's get some platforms down for just a moment here. Let's also take a look. Well, here's a question. So even if I don't have anybody researching in the academy, they're still they still require it. Okay. In that case, let's hit our let's go for the water requirement quick. And then I might want to look into housing stacking because I think we're going to be maxed out fairly soon. Maybe I should have gotten that a little bit sooner. Well, if I have to have 150... Oh gosh, if I have to have 150 people, each one of these is only fits one. So each one of these four will fit 12. Because you can stack them three high. So 12 per block. What's 150 divided by 12? Ten. Why can't I do math? Ten. It's... Thirteen. Yeah, twelve and a half. So, we need... A lot more than this. So I, I can smoothly just do that for now. That's my tilt, by the way. Still perfectly fine. Oh. Change housing block. Oh, I can change the style. We'll probably put the roofed ones on top. Oh, the Golden Grove. A small grove of brilliant golden trees surround the rune from the ancient empire. Nowhere had anyone seen trees of such magnificence that they emerged from the Empire's runes added to the wonder. The scene brought us to our knees. Okay, these are the golden trees of Kaldar. We harvest a sapling, careful not to disturb the grove, th grove that remains. We must return it to the kingdom of Rutula. Such splendor vindicated the Rutulan obsession, for the golden trees of Kaldar seem to sing amidst, amongst the birds and dance atop the wind. So what else we got over here? Because I've got a little bit that I want to check out in this immediate area. I think they can grab the last of that pretty quick. There it goes.
Okay, we've got another settlement. Take the dies. Let's see, what is that here? I just had to check, because it seemed like there was some interesting stuff. And I was not wrong. Okay. The other thing we might want to do is give me some speed. Oh. And maybe find some coal. I don't see any coal out here. I think we're fine for a while. What are you doing on these? Do one laugh less. Golden Sphere. I spotted an object glistening in the sunlight, encircled by runes. As we approach it, it reveals a smooth round shape. We do not know what this may be used for, but we feel it's important to note its location. Okay. I'm just gonna take a swing, grab whatever this rune is, and then we'll come back. Okay. I need more people to use the propeller, which is a little rough. Here's the thing. Can I turn this off? Move, customize, destroy. Lock on camera. So it looks like there is no current way. Pause. There's no current way... I love this! It's it's a paper map. It's the edge of the world. Okay, so let's... I think that's a clay deposit all the way back there, so let's just beeline for that. Next up, seeing as I've got some idle people, I did need a propeller. Oh, on the front. Okay, we got that. So increase available planes, resource gather rate. I feel like the resource gather rate might not be a bad idea. But maybe I should do the, the decrease coal usage by 30%. I think that's probably going to be my, my better option. Okay, path. Okay, propulsion. There we go. So that extra propulsion should let me get around. We're going to have to really stop building some of these things, though. At least for a moment. There we go. Wow. Okay, that, that propulsion bonus is 100% worth... And I believe that's a coal... Yeah, it's a coal deposit. Cool. This is fun. Okay, yeah. The problem is, I've only got three workers. Which is something I'll have to keep in mind. But now that we've got all this extra propulsion, we might as well yoink some things as we go by. And definitely fill up on coal. I can go up to 60. We should be at, at 60. Change. Oh, here we go. Ah, that's a nice rustic steampunk. Man, this would be kind of a fun way to do a D&D &D campaign. Oh, shit. This would be a great way to do wholesome, uh, wholesome marches. Just give them a, a flying... Um, island of a sort and say like here is here's your base 
it can move. It moves very slowly. Okay, settlement three out of three, three out of three. So we can't yoink anybody else here. I love the map system. There's a, there's a lot of neat bits here. Okay, coal storage is almost full. That is perfectly acceptable. Let's just turn that off. So what am I low on? People. Really. People, food, and, a, and some water. Fortunately, I don't see any water in this immediate zone. Pretty a little spooky. Small settlement. Seek migrants. Okay, so I've got some more people. Oops. Didn't realize I... Well, it's fine. Honestly, I like these buildings better. Oh, hold up. I like these. Okay, still no tilt issues. Maybe a little bit of drag, but I figure this way we won't have to worry about housing issues. So it looks like each tile I put down reduces my speed by 1%. Okay, I don't think we need any more food. There's a bunch of water out here. There may be some interesting stuff, so I'm gonna just go this direction. Yeah, privacy is non-existent. Eh. So we've got another settlement out here, a rune, and some water. So swing for the water first. An eager migrant with something important that can't be left behind. Huh. I wonder if I have to worry about their unique needs. Okay, we don't have any more aircraft. But now we've got seven people working on gliders again. We have just enough housing. And our resources stay pretty handled as long as we don't dwell for too long. Let's see, so next order of business. Maybe, to some degree, storage. You know what? It's probably fine. Do we have wood nearby? Didn't realize we were running low. No, we don't. This is probably another quest location. Tree of Harmony. 
We near a lone peaceful tree surrounded by ruined walls. We feel more serene the closer we approach. We don't know what this may be used for, but it's important. Mark the location. Our minds were puzzled that day. We thought that perhaps some of the kingdoms would know its secrets. Yeah, so I'm getting ahead of myself in my wanderings. But on the plus side, this does leave me with a lot of kind of neat locations I can come back to. Okay, small settlement. Do we seek migrants? We always seek migrants. Okay, we are now the airborne community. As a community grows, doubts and fears begin to form among the migrants of other kingdoms. How can we survive in the skies forever? Traditional believers in the light. The people are worried that they have lost its guidance, both physically and spiritually. They need these desires filled. We shine the light lights on all our paths to make our people feel safe when walking in, in the skies. Or we can build centers of faith so that the light may guide them, guide them spiritually. These constructions will help pro provide our inhabitants' desires. We know neither construction at the start of our journey, but surely other kingdoms have ideas we can research when we take to the skies. Okay. So that's a bit of a doozy. Okay. If I destroy these two... There's got to be a hotkey for destroying things. Nope. Remember. Measure twice, cut once. It's like the first rule of construction that I will always forget. I don't have enough trees. Well, really the only thing that matters here is I get a relic from this location. And maybe as much food as I can. All right, so we've decreased our coal usage by a smidge, pause. Okay, can't do anything on desires yet. We could go for the glass smelter, but I think I'm going to go for stacking houses. And then let's go... Get another house. So the one problem is one desire needed by all by inhabitants of the community to feel jubilant. Okay, so that's something to keep in mind. Let's grab the last of this few uh feud food and then swing back. Cuz yeah, I could keep going out here. There's there's definitely islands out this way, but I think at this point I'm getting ahead of myself. We should keep to the, the main areas and get what we need. Let's go get some wood. Because I gotta... I gotta make some houses. The music is great. Okay. Seeing as I've got people and I've got other things, let's do propulsion, propeller. I, I need wood. We might also want to make another academy, but let's let's start with propulsion first. Just getting around is going to be hugely important. Okay, we just need one more. I 
are we doing on lift? We're doing all right on lift. So you guys, I got that. Oh, did it default the house design back? No, it didn't. All right, perfect. All right, so what could we possibly need? Honestly, more wood. And some adobe. And otherwise, storage, warehouse. Let's get one warehouse down just so I can store more of this stuff as I'm traveling. Oh, dangus. That's a... Uh, that's a bit of a big bruiser. There we go. So we'll probably want to... I don't know. I think my grid is going to just disappear fairly quickly here, but that's okay. Oh, that only holds so much. Pause. What do we want to do next? Let's go back to lift. Let's increase the wing lift by as much as I can get it. Okay, Academy needs a shit ton of wood. Am I good on that? I'm good on that for the time being, so let's uh let's put them all on wood. Let's see, how much is there? 52. Boy, howdy. Alright. Maybe we stop. Well, I guess we don't quite stop. We build the... the next academy. Is it just a bit too big? But this should be just right. Perfect. I technically would even have space for another one there. But yeah, let's let's beef up our research, because here's the thing. As soon as I'm done with research, I never have to think about it again. Did that increase my research speed? Yes, it did. Alright, resource-wise, we are golden. Let's... Let's just go back. Because I believe there was a big old coal deposit right next to the kingdom. I think there was a big old deposit of pretty much everything I could possibly want. Uh, let's see. What is this? Did I ever get this one? Oh, more allies. Copper or bronze? I like copper. Okay. So there's more lift. Let's just max it out. Alright. The Rutulans begin to replant their great conservatory. As it flourishes, new groves spring nearby, which we can harvest for wood. A few more Rutulans also join your cause. With the grove replanted, the Rutulans are convinced of our prophecy. They agree to ally with us. To seal our allegiance, we must build a skyport to connect their kingdom to our own. Recognition for our combined paths forward is a special time for all, and we knew we should hurry to the task. Okay. Requires work, resources, and time, but we gladly give it and wait for the construction to finish. Okay, well, seeing as we need more wood. Let's get that Skyport. I wonder if that lets me trade with them regularly. I 
can't change home designs. Hey, we have gained another ally. We are now allied with the Kingdom of Ratula. Great! Oh! With the Skyport complete, Ratula is now connected to us and its neighbors. A great number of workers have joined our cause. But They offer to supply us with one wood every hour. Now that they're connected to the skies, it should be easy. Let's find other kingdoms and connect to them as well. Then all people will enjoy collective harmony and the prophecy will be complete. Upon sealing our allegiance, the locals tell us one last forgotten myth of the ancients and their knowledge. Legends say the Airborne Kingdom housed three distinct wonders atop its flying platform. Each wonder shone with splendor and imbued great knowledge and ability to its builders. Yet when the great capital disappeared, these wonders were lost as well. The tales say they were scattered to the winds. Their pieces lay among the lands. Perhaps in finding some of the lost parts, we can rebuild these wonders. We gather every detail about their functions and rum rumored whereabouts. And return to other matters. Okay, so now we have an obscene number of people that I need to suddenly give housing for. So... go back to... Oh. Oh. Huh. It's not letting me switch designs. Oh. Okay. Oh. It's a combo house. That makes sense. Okay. It was 12 and a half, yes? No tilt issues, maybe drag issues. And that force is empty. But let's, uh. Let's get some chug a lug going on. On the plus side, we get wood every hour, so that means I don't have to go collect it as much. So, in that case, I do have another forest at anywhere nearby. We got one over there. Let's check the map. Okay, find the lone trees to rebuild the Tranquil Gardens. Tranquil Gardens of the Ancients were unlike any others. They hung from the Airborne Kingdom itself, calming all in, fly calming all in the flying capitals that moved about the world. Rumors claim nothing special about the building, but rather the great trees within the garden. Taken from various corners of the world, their contribution instilled serenity. Perhaps in gathering these trees, we too may banish all displeasure for our, from our kingdom, allowing our minds to focus on tranquility. The trees grow in hidden runes, each standing alone. If we can find all three, we may rebuild the gardens as they once were. Great library. Well, we found one of the golden spheres. In the airport and kingdom of the ancients, the great library housed eternal knowledge. They did not hide any secrets, merely stored and accumulated knowledge in one location. Much of this knowledge was housed in the three major libraries across the lands. Though now lost, if, we've, if we find the libraries, we may create our own center of wisdom. Perhaps in aggregating our thoughts, we may find efficient efficiencies in our knowledge and unlock the true potential in any future construction as well. The old libraries are chiseled from a cliffside, with only the entrance visible. Though they're Though they are large for a building, these will be difficult to see from the skies. I will keep that in mind. Okay, so we found one of the three golden spheres. To some degree, I think I might just ignore it for a bit and look around. Oh, this map is huge. We are just in one corner of it. Oh, that's going to take a while. And Nomad's Ori. The ancients did not travel in blindness as we do. The myths speak of the Nomad's Ori, which allows them allowed them to map the lands of the stars. By the stars. Our understanding of the ground below is rudimentary. If we could re rebuild this wondrous machine, it might reveal the world to us. The crucial parts of the ancients' Ori are the three golden spheres, weighted exactly to mirror the motions of the celestials above. Though these spheres are enormous next to a person, they will be very hard to spot from the skies. We must look for them wherever we travel. Okay, so maybe I'll go back and actually grab... That stuff. Tapestry. Ah, so that's how we can see it again. 